What up, what up, what up? Double M's, it's your boy Keys. And it's your girl Manzi. Ew, ew. And we back. With another video, video, video. Yeah. And this time we are doing Jimmy John's Unwitch. We have the Unwitch. And I have the roast beef and provolone. I have tomatoes on here, extra onions. And I have hot peppers, mayo. And I'm just ready to what? To grub. Uh, I have the, have the big Italian. So, mm, yeah, it's bacon on the too, don't it? You got bacon on there? Oh, no. no That's no, salami. No, no. Salami, mm -hmm. ham, uh, uh, provolone cheese, tomato, mm -hmm. of course, lettuce, onion. Mm-hmm. Uh, lettuce, that, uh, oregano. Salt and pepper. Mm. So we're gonna get into this web, baby. Blessing session. All right, let's do this. Most loving and gracious Father, thank you for all your bountiful blessings. Thank you for our friends and loved ones coming in to join us. And a blessing unto them, and a blessing unto this food. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And y'all, we got salt and vinegar chips. I love salt and vinegar chips with my cold sub. Had to get some. Jimmy John's need to make some hot sandwiches. All um, this cold stuff. But I think because everybody do other people do hot sandwiches, they try to separate them apart. Yeah. By doing up a cold cook, I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But it is hot. It, you know this Florida weather. Mm-hmm. And I and I wanted on with y'all. I told him yesterday I want me on with. So today, this what he took me to get. I don't know. It probably took me to get a, a mayonnaise sandwich. Mm -mm. They need to stop what I say. Y'all always complain, y'all. This is so refreshing. Sometimes you gotta keep it light. You know? It's hot out here, y'all. Me neither, baby. So, this might be the most refreshing thing to eat. Mm hmm. I would agree. Because it is so good. And it's light. You know, you can eat this, and I'm telling you, you won't feel like heavy, heavy. You know? Like when you eat fried food, you had an itis, boy, you want to go to sleep, take a nap. Mm. You ever Totally different. Y'all can see that mayonnaise. Y'all see what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then, but sandwich being wrapped in lettuce, it don't make it no better. Anytime you have a burger or a sandwich wrapped in lettuce, it make everything else runny. So <laughs> lettuce is so water, you know, full of water. But I love it wrapped in lettuce, though. Then we went to uh, Starbucks. Mm -hmm. We sipping on door. that uh, mango dragon fruit tea with no inclusions. Mm -hmm. Water, little apple juice. Yeah. They take the mango dragon fruit with no inclusions. The liquid. And add it with water, which keeps the calorie count down and the sugars. And then you have them tap a little apple juice on top. Delish. And for those of you, no inc no inclusions means none of the fruit. No dragon fruit. Mm -hmm. Inside your drink. Mm -hmm. Whether it be the dragon fruit pieces or raspberries, blueberries, none of the fruit. That comes in there. Yeah, because they put um <clears throat> they put a lot of um sugar crystals all over the fruit when they put it in your drink. And it makes it too sweet to me. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I can talk to you, baby. 
But honey, let's talk about it. Did y'all see Avion Foster's um interview with um Tasha Kater? I don't know these people. Honey, I didn't know him either. Oh, I remembered him from her show. He was on the Wendy Williams show. I remember him being in the audience. And I remember um, specifically that during the pre-show, he sung and they showed clips of it on her after show, how good he could sing. Sorry, y'all. I never knew that later on. That's so good. Excuse me. Never knew that later on he had signed a contract mm -hmm. with Kevin with Kelvin Hunter, Wendy Williams' husband, whom she's now divorcing. Didn't know she he had signed a contract with this guy to basically put out music. And the things he described about Kelvin and about him and Kelvin giving each other fellatio and doing each other in the butt. Y'all, he went on to say that he did all this because he was at his lowest point. I don't agree with that. I feel like Kelvin Hunter was wrong. Don't get me wrong. He was wrong for what he did. For using the boy, not paying the young man, you know, and mistreating him in a lot of ways the way he described. Y'all got to go watch that interview. However, it's unwind with Tasha K. Go check that out. However, he, um, I feel like he was down for it because I felt like he really wanted his music career to pop off. And he even said that he knew that the music industry was full of, you know, evil and the devil and things like that. And that you basically had to sell your soul to be a part of it. And so if you say you knew that before going in, that means you were prepared to do anything so the worker hear, the, hear, hear your voice or hear your music. You know, let me ask y'all something. How many of y'all are that desperate? I'm not. God knows I have big dreams and aspirations and I pray I get there while harming no one on, it, on my way. I pray I get there in a good way. But if I can't get there because I gotta do some you know, some stuff that malicious, malicious Down stuff or degrading stuff that I know that I don't believe in, or I gotta treat somebody degrading, like he said, or I gotta harm somebody, or do things that I don't believe in, or things that are not who I truly am. I gotta compromise my character to be a part of this, then I'm good. Then I feel like that wasn't meant for me. Then I need to go back and revisit the route I'm taking to get to my dreams. Because I feel like when you do stuff like that, you take an easy way out. When you start compromising who you are as a person. And I'm not and I'm, and I'm not coming down on him because he said he slept with Kevin Hunter. They did each other and all this kind of stuff. I'm not, I'm not judging that because it's not my place to judge. And I love everybody. However, I feel like the young man wasn't taking... He, he wasn't taking full responsibility. He was doing a lot of exposing. He was doing a lot of expose now. He was doing that. So Wendy, he said Wendy was cheating with me in. He said that Kevin was with Sharina, with him. I mean, it's a mess. It really is a mess. And when I was listening to this young man talk, I said, man, how many others are out there doing this same stuff, y'all? You know what I'm saying? How many others are out here selling their soul? And then playing, playing in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Look at them, them girls with R. Kelly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's mm -mm. just like you get in the game and people are all alone telling you it's chess. Hey, this is a chess game. This is a chess game. This is a chess game. But you still trying to play it like it's checkers. Woo! You know. 
know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Two different games, two different moves. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to hear about, oh, I, 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 this is my first time playing, but you got to the table and you started the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all, that's, that's all. You started the game, finish it. <laughs> that's na that's nasty. Oh, them being nasty toward me. Yep. But you got in the game. So good, y'all. And it's true. You're right, baby. It's true. And I get it for um, for people who sympathize with the young ladies involved in the R. Kelly thing that some of them are very young, underage <clears throat> you know I put a lot of responsibility on the parents in that situation because as a, as a, as a, as a woman myself if I had a daughter I'm going to be very active in my daughter's life I'm going to be very active in talking to her and trying to guide her in the right direction not to say these parents weren't trying to but some of these parents were taking money and doing bribes to allow our killer access to their child. And you are the real perpetrator to me. You are. Because we already know our Kelly and I've been through a whole lot as a child. And um, a lot of what he went through has festered over and basically... Um, spilled over to his adulthood. Mm. We already know that. We already know he need help. But these parents need some help too. Yeah. Calling your children or taking your children to a grown man concert like that. You know, people, my, my mama was allowing me to go to concerts like B2K and, you know, he, he, <laughs> immature. Not even, B2K immature because I was, I was in immature era. Even if but, mm -mm. You, um, you don't have because some kids don't stay with their parents. Or some parents are not parents. Right. So you stand with your grandparents or something like that. That could be true and too. They're giving you I don't want to be too stern with you because I know where you're coming from, coming to stay with me. Mm -hmm. But I do want to lay down some ground rules. So make sure you maintaining that and remaining respectful. But then the kids go out and do this. Let me tell you this. You already know certain situations um, once you put yourself into these these certain um, areas of what you want to go into. It sounds good. Oh, I want I want to be an artist. I'm. Oh, I want to uh, be successful in whatever manner that you're uh, trying to get up there in. And it sounds so good. Oh, I want to meet this person. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, I want this person to be my man. I want this person to be my woman. Because believe me, me, we see that men get taken advantage of too, whether it be by another man or, or a woman. So we hear about it's, it. It's, it's all good. Boom. The universe hits. You get to meet these people. Or it sets and you get to... Uh, get into inside the career of entertainment that you want to be in. Boom. Now, real life sets in. You scared. That's what make you pay victim. You get scared. There's a fear in you. Oh, because they strike up something. Oh, you're going to have to uh, give me fellatio if you really want to take off. Or you gonna have to let me do you this kind of way or you gonna have to sleep with me him him and her for you to rise um up and make it to where you want to be at fear set in oh i didn't know it was gonna be like that but you know why you know why fear you know why fear is there though baby because some people smell it on you when you walk in the room yeah they know you gotta exude some level of confidence when you say you want something. And because you let fear set in, you willing, oh, oh no, uh, they're going to hurt me if I don't do it. No, I'm getting out of here. They gonna, getting... Oh, they're going to blackball me. I'm not going to be able to make okay. it. They're going to put my name around. I ain't, never had, I ain't never had it. I ain't came from nothing. I'll get it another way. 
All right, peace. Amen. You gonna have to fight me to get out of here then. Fight me, beat me down. And when, if I do make it out of here, I, I, whew. <laughs> Hopefully I go to the police. <laughs> He already said he'd be coming. He'll come back. He'll come back. He'll come back and get them all. Felatio, he said that Kevin Hunter, um, what's that dude's name? I can't say his name again now, baby. I just lost the train of thought. with an A. Uh, um, good God almighty, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Because it's too much. It's, it is too much, and I'm trying to think of his name. <laughs> I said his name, but now I can't seem to remember it. Let me look in here and tell y'all. I'm upset and I don't even watch. I ain't even with none of that. Don't watch it. <laughs> but I wanted to watch it because I was like, this is crazy. It's supposed to be about Wendy and him getting a divorce and him cheating. Not all of something. It's about all this other mess. And people being ex and getting exposed. You know, like this dude exposing stuff. He's 26 years old. He's 26, and this is a lot of exposure going on, y'all. And be it as it may, it can be fabricated a, a little bit. Avino, Avino, but. Avino Foster. Today he's married now. He's married now to a woman who says that you know she's not judging him because he had you know sexual acts with another man. Um, she claims she's always been different. I guess being different, man. What? Because she listened to the 2 Chain song? <laughs> <laughs> she said she always been different. <laughs> Shut up, baby. You're you doing the most. Hey. You always make a light of a situation, y'all. I tell y'all the truth. Basically, she was saying that she's always been different or whatever. So, because she's always been different, and they, they were friends before they got married, she felt like when he opened up to her and he was honest with her about it, that made their relationship kind of like, I guess, better, stronger, or made it more real to her because he was open and honest. Let me tell you something. Personally, for me, I'm like Tasha K on that. I don't want to be with a man who's been with other men, you know, to each his own. God bless you and no hate, no, no, we love, we, we all about love over here. No judgment. However, I personally don't want to be with a man who has been with other men. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Tasha K was asking her, you know, about that. Like, you know, how did you feel when he told you, like, you know, that he gave somebody else fellatio and that somebody else did him in the butt and he did somebody else in the butt and that this person is actually saying they ejaculated in his butt. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, man. <laughs> the man did say it in the interview. Now, did he not? He did say it in the interview, y'all. He did say it now. <laughs> I'm just saying, when Tasha get asked her about that, she kind of like just gave this very, like, around the world I mean, confusing response. Like, I really couldn't make out what she was really trying to say. I can only get bits and pieces and try to basically in interpret it from what I was hearing. Cause she really was just like this, like this talking. She wasn't really explaining how she felt. And she made it seem like, um, you know, it wasn't like I was looking for a man that sleep with other men, but hey, I mean, I got one, so it is what it is. That's kind of like the response I felt from her, but it's like she wasn't being real honest about her real true, um, that lady sound like me, fumbling, bumbling all over her words, lying ass. <laughs> she know she felt some type of way. I'm just, it, it, it was sick. But I don't know why she's staying in that relationship. Is it for money? Is because she think his career is going to take off? But I don't know what it is. Why would you be married to a man? He And now he's claiming he has no desire for men. He claims that men sleep with other men because they have a um, adrenaline I, rush that they be trying to, they be trying to get. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> trying, to Honey. Make me, trying to make me lose my darn appetite. No, I'm not. <laughs> but he was very open about um everything and he talked about Sharina. 
um, how Kevin was able to maintain that relationship, how he was able to maintain Wendy, maintain him. And when people like that have a lot of money, and I'm pretty sure Wendy have other, um, you know, Wendy's working on her QVC show. You know, I mean, not, what, what the show is? The QVC, where she said a little clothing line she have. And when Wendy was, um, you know, doing Broadway and different things she had going on while having her TV show, I'm pretty sure Kevin had plenty of time in his hands. Because his only job was executive producer of the Wendy Williams show, which I'm pretty sure that job is going to be over now that they're divorcing. But it's just crazy to me that, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, her husband not only accused of cheating and getting his side chick pregnant, but messing with a man. Mm. And the way Avion, if you know what his name is, Avion, I think it was Avion, y'all. The way he explains it, it was like Kevin was always trying to become very intimate with him and come on to him, taking him to spas. Who takes another man to a spa? You know? I could see a father and son going to get massages and having like a hangout day with your young your son. But what man no, takes another man no, to a spa to get massages no and to sit in the pool together with no clothes on? He said Kevin got in the pool with no clothes on at the spa and then told him to get in too. And he said the first time when he did that, he was like, uh-uh. And he went into another room, the clay room. He said that Kevin came in a fully dressed. He was like, let's go. He said he knew then he was gay. But what I'm trying to figure out about Avion is that Avion, I feel like you always were gay. On, in the interview, he said, if he come in here, if he come here within, within two minutes, fully dressed and said, we leaving, I know he gay. What would make you, Avion, say that? That's what I'm saying. So I, I get what he's saying about Kevin did him dirty, you know, especially with the money thing, using him, you know, um, talking down to him, making him very depressed and um, self-conscious of himself, you know, basically trying to break his spirit. I get all that, and Kevin is wrong for that, totally wrong for that. But what I'm trying to get to the point is, Avion, I feel like you were already, um, you know, homosexual, and you already like being with men. Not just because of an adrenaline rush, but because you were already having those type of relationships. You were bisexual. That's what it seemed like to me. He was trying to make it seem like Kelvin Hunter was his first encounter with the uh, man, and, and that he was he and wasn't he, sure he wasn't because he know, because which he called way it, he, he was gonna what, yes. Gone. What, do I like women or do I like men? And, and it's then, almost like that, he was making it sound like he loved women, but he was like, "Oh, Kevin caught him at a very a very down point in his life." Why would you be down? You you finally getting the record deal you wanted, right? You got a chance to showcase yourself on the Wendy Williams show and sing. And sing. You sung at Wendy Williams' birthday party. There were a lot of good events happening in your life, so I really don't think you were down like that. I think you were down for whatever it took to get you to the next level. And because it, didn't, it because it became very um um abusive verbally and physically, I feel like that's why you're now you know. And you're, and you're very resentful because now you got to try to get out of this contract with Kevin Hunter. Plus, they didn't pay you properly. I'll be very upset about those things, too. But say that. Say that. And just keep it real on yeah. that front. You know but what I'm you, saying? You gave, you gave yourself up in that way mm -hmm. and didn't get anything out of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you was vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And he lingered that over your head. Yeah, I put you in the game, mm -hmm. little, little joker. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what you're going to do. Or mm -hmm. I'm going to send your butt back. Back, back to the country with nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, you mm -hmm. didn't have nothing when you signed. And you said <laughs> that he knew you was a southern boy that was green. Did he say that? Man. He said it in the interview. We only saying what he said, y'all. We only saying we heard uh, from yeah, you calling you calling yourself green. You were looking to be taken advantage of when you got there. And all I'm saying is. For a man who's never been with a uh, for, for a man who's never been with a man before. Wouldn't you be apprehensive about sleeping with a man? I don't care what he's offering you. And a man that never slept with a man before but got so much insight of what's going on. With 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 what me and what with me and other men do. And, su and subject mm -hmm. to whatever that's coming out this other uh, guy mouth and you know he running game. Mm -hmm. But you're down with it. Come and on, then man. you say you you're both perform fellatio on each other and then you both did anal sex on each other. I'm just saying a straight man who's never been with another man 
I would think as as a person, period, I would just think that he would be apprehensive about doing those kind of acts, especially if he's never engaged in that before. For you to just know so much about this man, to, to for you to just say you knew this man was gay from that first encounter at the spa, and then for y'all to go back to the spa six weeks later and have the same encounter again, but this time you actually do the acts. Y'all was doing that crap multiple times. You were already willing the first time to do that stuff. Yeah. You just wanted to be sure that he was like that before you went ahead and went in with it. But you were comfortable doing that, um, um, Avion. You were comfortable. Yeah, you were comfortable with that kind of stuff. Even when you talk about it on Tasha K, you laughing. It wasn't like it was a traumatic experience. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was a willing participant. That's what I'm saying. He was a willing participant. Of course he was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all see my baby king with it. And then, he said, it'd be the most macho men, and then he gonna say the ones in the gym. Now, what they got to do with it? Let's, let's, let's correct the call. Like <laughs> I said, I don't, I don't watch this stuff. Uh, let me, let me, let me tell you something, man. <laughs> and let me tell the ladies something. But you have some women that say every man cheat. You see that every that you put on you putting a you putting a title on every man in the world. And you don't every have a man, man in the world. Every man no, you just know the ones you was dealing with. Right. And the ones that you attract. You attract those type of bogus behind men with those type of behavior, boyish behavior. Mm -hmm. That that young man, he spoke that spirit upon him. I'm green. I'm this. I'm that. He I'm spoke down. that in his life. I'm, he did. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and that you'll become whatever you believe is true for you. Hey, yeah, let it be true. Every man is not like that. That dude said, "Every man, every man, no way, man, no way, no way." No way. He he then gave a description like he stereotyped, especially the ones who had macho, especially the ones that be in the gym. No, that's not necessarily true. I'm pretty sure there are some in the gym that are like and, that. There's some in the, in, on, the, in, the, in the law office that are like that. There's some in the hospital that are like that. There's some inside the Starbucks that are like that. There's some everywhere you go. Everybody has a sexual preference. Whether it be gay, whether it be straight, whether it be bi, whatever you want to call it, homosexual, lesbian, but it's not heterosexual, every it's but not it's not every, every person. person because we all on, have different. When we go to Starbucks, you can have 10 of us in the line, 10 of us in the line, but we might not all order the same thing. You know what I mean? Just because we're human, we're all the same. No, we're all human. That's the one thing that make us the same in some way we have something in common it gives us something in common we're human but we're not all the same does it make me better than you no it does not it Come does on, not but live your truth and don't try to make yourself a victim because when you try to play victim about things happening in your life you truly make your you truly make yourself the depressed person i'm low i'm green you then do exude those things in your life you and then, then, and then prophesy that to, in your life you, yeah, yeah project it out there and and want everybody to have empathy on the way that you, uh, you and more or less not even out. empathy you want somebody to have sympathy for you yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. empathy sympathy you know mm -hmm. upon you but don't and don't express that all men because you and you 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 feeling some type of way you gonna express all men or like that and then you you put upon a title all men in gyms everywhere are like that come on man don't speak for me <laughs> i i ain't with the stiff leg i don't know if he said all oh, men. man that gym. man said he and, did but he didn't give a description he said men in gyms but macho men tight he said them be the main ones he said <laughs> Ridiculous, man. <laughs> you know, my, my baby, I, my baby radar went up like, "What? I be in the gym, and that's a negative." <laughs> it 
It's crazy, y'all. It is. It was, it was a really good interview, though. Tasha K. Tasha, shout out to Unwind with Tasha K. Because she be doing her thing with these interviews, man. I love her. Yeah. She be doing her thing with the interviews. She really be we asking the why. good questions and she stay calm. She, you know, she asks the good questions. And if she feel like they veering off, she get them right back on track and ask them what need to be asked. And I like that about her because some of these people want to come on these on the want to come on these um youtube shows and come on shows period and play victim but you got to take some respect responsibility and ownership for your role and what went on yes kevin hunter may have did some bad things to you but you allowed some of that stuff to go on because you thought that it was going to yield you money fame you know come on let's be real about it let's be real let about me tell it. you something we're going to use another analogy mm -hmm. you cannot we play video games, half of y'all out there. You cannot win or lose the game until you cut it on. He was willing to cut on the game. Mm -hmm. And take whatever wins he could get with the losses. He was fine with that. He was fine until... He felt like everything. Listen, it's like, a, <laughs> for, for example, it's like a kid. When a kid is playing a video game, and we, 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 when Nintendo first came out, <clears throat> my dad bought us one, a gaming system. When it first came out, he put it on his credit card, got it for us, brought it home from the mall. Oh, my God. We was like, oh, my God. Because we didn't play video games before that. We didn't. My dad got us that. So we playing the video game. Now, take that. See? Listen, we played the video game. We had to Dad bought a video game. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah, we You put up. We finna sign you. Be excited. Mm -hmm. Then, it's not until the game says game over and it's somebody else's turn, you get mad. Because you want to keep playing. But you got other siblings. They got to get their turn too. See, it wasn't until it was game over and Kevin Hunter wasn't willing to cut no checks. He ain't had no need for you no more. Now but, you mad. Not saying the money wasn't coming in because he was signed. He was singing. That boy was singing. He was going to engagements. Mm -hmm. Somebody was exchanging some coins, but he just wasn't getting none. He wasn't he getting was enough. Getting, he wasn't getting what he, what he expected. He was, he was getting gifts. <laughs> gifts and incentives. He said, <laughs> he said that Kevin Hunter was rationing out the money, just like they said Sugar Knight used to do the Tupac. You know, you threaten to leave the label, here's 50 grand to Tupac. You threaten to leave or you get mad, here's five grand, young boy. Here's six grand. Here's $400. That kind of thing. He claimed he wasn't getting paid properly per the contract they had in place. Supposed to got $50,000 for um, the contract or something like that. Only got a $5,000 check. Then he said the check, the first check, the bank said they couldn't cash because his name was wrong on the check. His name is Avino. Av um, Avion, Avion Williams, the check said Avion Foster, which I guess is his performance name. So the bank, Chase couldn't cash the check or whatever. He then says Kevin, the, even the wife attested that this happened, said that Kevin told him to burn the check. I guess, let me see you burn the check on FaceTime. Then I'll send another one over. Had another check, took that check to the bank. That check bounced. Mm. So, I don't know, wrote a check on a bad account or whatever. Um, just, 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 just craziness, y'all. Just straight craziness. I've, I, I mean, I, I, I find, I don't find this story very, very surprising because I believe a lot of stuff going on in the music industry that people don't know about, and people say they want to sing, they want to do this, they want to do that. You know, I want to do some of those things too, but um, I don't have to do it on that level, and I don't have, I'm not gonna compromise myself to ever um, be a part of anything. Um, if I can't get there the right way. And I can't get there knowing that the one true God can help me and bless my life to give me the things I need. He the one brought me here. The people in this world didn't bring me here. God brought me here. So I know that he can do all things in my life that I pray about and that I ask him for. I don't have to um, do no fellatio. I ain't got to be involved in no sex acts with women. Oh I ain't got to. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> I ain't got to do none of that. I don't. <laughs> I ain't got to do none of that to get where I want to go. And I'm not talking about my marriage, so hush your mouth, okay? <laughs> Excluding him. I don't have to do any of those kind of things 
to get where I need to be, and I'm not going to. The day, the day somebody tried me like that, they don't. The day somebody tried me like that, the day somebody tried me like that, they gonna meet the other side of me, cause I'm gonna go off. Know, I'm gonna go off. I know I met the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go off. <laughs> Cause that's total disrespect. You ain't playing me like that. You ain't playing me like that. Nah, it's disrespectful. And you trying me like I'm weak, and you telling me basically that I am weak. Uh uh, I ain't going for that. Uh uh, no, I ain't going for that. So if somebody, somebody doing that, I'll let me be know. I'm gonna I'm I'm use something else, okay? You know, and I and, and it's just this and uh, Boosie, uh, the Boosie the rapper. Yeah, the Boosie. Uh, <laughs> He was going, uh, he tried to sign um, Kodak when he first uh, came out. The boost tried to sign Kodak? But that's before Kodak blew up. And one of, one of Boosted friends said, hey man, we need to go check Jit out because Jit, it's something in Jit. Jit going to be, he going to be big, man. Let's get to him real quick. So Boosted went down and Boosie gay uh tried to get that man uh ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. Now they both had the same story. Kodak talked about it, Boosie talked about it too. They both told the same exact story. Sure did. So it, so it, was, it definitely was true. It was definitely true. And Boosie, Boosie laughed about it. He said, Yeah, I I I I went down, tried to sign out, gonna give him ten thousand cash, pulled it out, told him come on back. We'll talk it over, you know, we're going to party, whatnot, whoop the woo. And uh, <laughs> uh, Boosie said, hey, Jit said, hey, man, look here, man. Jit had like 50 grand in their pocket already, 50 or 100 grand. It was something. <laughs> and uh, Boosie said, was already giving yeah, him. Yeah, he was already, you know, the boy. So said, basically, he wasn't talking to no dumb yeah, idiot, no yeah. young idiot. Boosie tried to green him. Mm -hmm. Tried to shade him. He wanted to see what his head was in. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what he said. Hey, I, I ain't, I ain't trying to sun him or nothing like that. But like she said, I wanted to see what his head was. And, and the boy. That's what you gotta remember when you dealing with these testing, people. People are people testing. Are always you. testing you. Testing you to see where you at. And to see where you will compromise your integrity, your character, who you are as a person, just for a dollar. People know it. People know when you're too eager, let, when you're too excited, me, too happy, when yeah. you're too much of a let me, let butt me, kisser. People know. Let me tell you this. I've been tried a lot of times. But then, when people see that, okay, oh, country bunking, soft-spoken, quiet, quiet <laughs> they really don't. And then, when you when I go on and say, hey, don't insult my intelligence like that, and you still go ahead and still try to provoke and and <clears throat> and and some some me so to speak, and then you see the other side of of keys. That's not use, green. That's not stupid. That's not dumb. You know, that know exactly what's going on. No, probably know a little bit more than you. Then you look crazy. Like what? What happened uh, there? Uh, yeah, uh, but you, you uh, brought this on yourself. Uh, you brought this uh, on yourself. What, what's going on? Uh -huh. well, you, you know uh -huh. why? why What's wrong? Why are you acting that way? Why are you? <laughs> let's, let's. Don't take people kindness for weakness, y'all. Don't take people mannerism, they mild mannerism, or they relax, they relax, you know, they relax state as, oh, I can run all over them. That's not the case. Some people are just kind of like just yeah. chill, but they, they got to they gotta let you know something, they're going to let you know too. See, me, I'm a little more outgoing, talkative, and I'll go off quick. I'll go off real quick. But by no means will I be disrespected like that. Yeah. Not so for no success. So, Mr. Foster or Mr. Yeah, Foster, that's uh, his name. Mr. Um, uh, Avi Avi what you should have Avi did at the time was man up. And hey, this probably was not the move for me. I'm going to say peace out. I came with nothing. You can come after me, but I know you're going to get nothing. <laughs> I would, I would, you know what? I, from the first I time, went back home. from the first time he went to the spot, he tried that. If that wasn't truly who you were, even if you was at your lowest point, you should have got out of there. Because if I'm at my lowest point, somebody trying to take me even lower, and I can, and I can feel that, and I can sense that, then I'm not gonna stick around to be dogged, to be treated, or, hurt, or be hurt. Because you stayed in the situation because you thought that something good was gonna come out of it. 
you thought the end results were going to be bigger than what you were currently going through. But what you should have did was walked away. Walked away. Sometimes we got to know how to leave something on the table. And sometimes you got to know when there is nothing on the table. You think there's something on the table. Ain't nothing on the table. Ain't no money on that mm -hmm. table. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. You, you stand around for Monopoly money. Yeah. You can't go spend that nowhere. If, if you if you came in, just like, like you said, you knew it mm -hmm. was devilish stuff in there. And you was really to compromise yourself with 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 uh, that demon aspect, well, he'll make you believe a lie. Right. And that's exactly what you believed. And you went in saying that, you went in speaking that stuff into existence. You said you know, you basically, so to speak, said you know you gotta set, set your soul to be brought in the music industry. So you went in with a mindset that you had to do some compromising things in order to make it big. You spoke that stuff into existence. You were already doing those things to try to get where you wanted to be. I'm pretty sure he wasn't the first person that came across your beautiful voice. You were already doing Brian Midnight covers on YouTube and social media. So come on. You mean to tell me you don't think that somebody else with a good heart would have discovered you? Real producers, real people in the music industry. You let somebody from a talk show sign you instead of going somewhere where real producers and real music industry people could have discovered you and came up with a better contract for you when you could have signed to one of these major labels you know how many people are signed to major labels who don't even sing as good as you all you had to do was keep being consistent and believe in yourself and not get caught up in taking shortcuts and within that marriage there's going to be a lot of counseling going on there it's gonna be, that marriage probably if, gonna last. If not, now. if if, if even, not, if, it if it's lasts. going on right now, or if, if it even lasts, because I'm being honest with y'all, I couldn't be sitting there. I couldn't be sitting there next to my 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 supposed. This was my king. This is my king. This is my warrior. My king, and my king is telling me how another man had his penis in his mouth and in his butt. I'm not sitting there interview. Listen, I'm not eating no grapes. She was eating no grapes so fast you could tell her nerves were bad. I'm not doing that. Tasha K gave us some grapes or whatever, gave them snacks or whatever during the interview, and she was tearing them grapes up. You could tell she was nervous while he was talking about those things he had mm -hmm. done. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. I couldn't even stand that relationship, y'all. I couldn't. I couldn't. The more and more mm -hmm. came out, the more and more I'd have felt sunken. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have, yeah, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have definitely felt sunken. I'd have definitely felt, I'd have felt a level of defeat. Like, I'm not sitting with a king right now. You know, I'm not sitting with a man who truly loves me because when I see him laughing at some of the things he claimed Kelvin did to him and how bad it was, I'm like, if you really was in that kind of pain, why is this so funny? You know, I, even if it happened a year ago, I wouldn't be laughing about it today if it was it was, it was so hurtful to me. That's all I'm saying. Like, you got to be honest and live your truth, y'all. All that lying and trying to manipulate and, and fake like oh you the victim come on take it take responsibility mm -hmm. yeah he did you dirty now i'm not taking that from the situation he did you dirty kevin hunter sound like he's a bad person he sound like he could he done done some wicked stuff and he said wendy has too he said wendy has too he said wendy and i'm kevin have done some bad things to a lot of people i, I won't doubt that but i still feel like avion didn't take full responsibility for um his role in allowing some of those things to happen to him because people will only do what we allow them to do People will only do what we allow to allow them to do. This man had a wife. This man had a side chick and yourself. You could have removed yourself from that equation at any given time and said, you know what? I'm a man with integrity. Yes, I am a gay man, but I will not allow you to treat me like that. I will not allow you to abuse me. I will not allow you to degrade me or trash me or treat me that way. So I'm going to have to decline on signing a contract with you and doing any further business with you. Please don't contact me. Simple as that. Simple as that. And if he would have tried to go around, if he would have tried to go around telling people don't work with you, whatever, whatever, you don't worry about that. You don't worry about that. You pray for people like that. You know how many people don't went around trying to say bad things about me and Keys and tear our name down, try to make like we bad people when we really know in our heart that's not who we are. When you know who you are and you are living your truth, you let others see who you are. You ain't got to go out here telling nobody who you are. You ain't got to go out here worrying about people saying about you. What God got for you, it is for you and no man can put this under. No man can put it under. I'm telling you that. I'm telling y'all that. You better believe that and understand that and know that. Don't let what people out here doing, their negativity, they 
hating you, they doubting you, they disbelief of you, stop you. Keep pushing forward and just show them haters. Get, be blessed in their presence. He said, I make your enemy your footstool. Yeah, okay? Ev everything is a blessing. Everything. 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 Even, it's, it's a blessing to have somebody speak uh, speak your name in their mouth with, with hardship and a hardened heart. You mm -hmm. know why? Because it's, it's, it's a place for them mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a place for them. Sure Whether is. it's a good place or a bad place. It's, up it's a place for them. That's right. But I'd rather have them with that with my name in their mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because they still sowing seed. Even if they sowing bad seed. Look, the seed getting out. Mm -hmm. And the people that they sowing the seed to going to have to see for themselves. Mm-hmm. So spread, spread it, spread mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. We need all the love we can get. But when you a good person, you know in your heart you ain't did nothing wrong to nobody. You ain't trying to harm nobody, hurt nobody. People are trying to hurt you because they jealous of you, they envy you. They got something going on within themselves while they hate themselves so much. You can't worry about that. You just gotta, you just gotta stay focused on what you, what you're trying to do. Keep being the person that you truly know you are. And other people will see. Other people will see. Avion Talent would have got out there some kind of way. He would have been blessed. But he chose to succumb to that kind of behavior that Kelvin was um, displaying. And he chose to be a part of that um, that mess. He chose to be a part of it. He didn't have to be. He chose to be a part of that. He didn't have to be. He could have shut it off from that first time he said he took him to the spa and was in that tub, in, the, in that pool naked and telling him to get in. And he ran out the room. Then and there, he could have cut it off right then and there if he mm -hmm. felt like things were wrong. But he didn't do that. He stayed on in it. Stayed on it for a good while, too. Only reason he don't want to be part of it now because he won't he get paid right. But if Kevin would have probably paid him right, you he know probably what? wouldn't even be telling us the story. Day and, day and age, you don't hear about this too much because it was only in our era. Oh, peer pressure. Mm -hmm. People ain't even getting peer, kids not even getting peer pressure anymore. Mm -mm. If you can show them a dollar or show them something where they can make a couple of dollars, they're going to do it. And not even looking at the fine print of it. It's sad. And they are, they're super intelligent. Mm -mm. You know, that, that saying you so smart till you're done. It's true. Or facts. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> Big facts. Now, now, now who, who really green? Is it the person that fumble bumble over their words and sound country? Or the smartest person so articulate with their words and feel that they're so smart? Because if you look at some of those people, in the past, <laughs> you see how they either took their life or they were mental health patients, scientists and all those different type of people were inventors and all this kind of stuff. Check them out. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we don't keep talking too long, but I just wanted to talk to y'all about that and just be like, man, the stuff they're going on. Make sure you know the people that you out here dating. Make sure you know, say, you're just not selling for anything because it, it, it is so scary nowadays how, you know, so many people are doing stuff and you would never know. You would never know. You would never know who you're really dealing with if you really don't take the time to get to know the person that you um, are in a relationship with. You know, I thank God that I'm blessed to know my keys. I feel like I know keys very well. Keys knows me. I I, I said this before, y'all. When baking a cake, you know the ingredients in now. Mm -hmm. Don't get an already made cake you bound into and find that out it ain't sweet. Is my keys perfect? No, he's not perfect. Not, you know? not, not no, by all no. means. Some things he don't know how to do. Um, you know, sometimes I get on his nerves, you know. But I thank God that the good outweighs the bad let us know what you think boiling hot water right don't spill it on yourself <laughs> hey like comment share the video share the videos ain't gonna hurt nothing shut nothing you already know what to do hit that notification bell Bing! so you can be notified of all the content all the videos that we have in store for 
you. And we'll see you in our next video. You already know it. Love yeah. you guys.